guys, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to 60 seconds. Hey, look, a blimp. Um, I'm gonna give this one more shot. I do think I can beat it. I don't, I, it takes a very long time and it's very, very difficult. And by one more time, I mean, I'm gonna try one long extended version of it. If I die instantly again, I'm gonna go back and try again, obviously. Uh, what are we doing? Survival. We're gonna do survival on easy. Because it's my best shot at actually beating this. Because it gives you some decent supplies to start out with. If I'm getting all the supplies on my own, it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna survive at all. I need to keep my radio and my flashlight. Those are two of the most important things I need. Because the radio signals when the military are coming, and then the flashlight is what you wave in the sky like a big willy. And then they, they see that you're down there and they come down to you. Okay, all made to the shelter. Blah, 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 blah. First day is easy. Who gives a fuck? Just survive, please. And our second day, Ted is gonna have a big, beautiful stubble. Look at that sexy man. Do you have to shave every morning? I'd hate to be one of those guys. As much as I'd love to grow a fully fleshed out beard. I mean, the, 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 the thing I got going on is fine, and it suits me, but I'd love to grow a big full beard, but I don't want to be one of those guys who has to shave every single morning. That would suck the biggest, hairiest balls on the planet. Anyway. <laughs> A relocation is preferable, blah blah blah, yeah, it's always the same shit. The world has gone to sh crappy place. No swearing, it's the apocalypse. Not the language apocalypse. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive, yeah, so nobody's going out. I woke up today feeling very uncomfortable. It was like, like someone or something was watching us. We could have sworn we noticed movement in the shadows. If anything besides us alive in the bunker. Okay, we'll use the axe. Why do I have to deal with shit already? I don't want to deal with shit, I just want to deal with Pee pee. <laughs> we still have the axe, so that's good. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. What was it? Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Should I let Mary Jane die? Vote now! Makes no difference. I don't know why I'm asking because you guys can't vote. It's not a live stream. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Water's all Dolores wants. Ted is really thirsty. I think you guys will survive one more day without it. I need to ration this stuff properly. It's hard to keep track of time down here, we can't tell. Do I have any bug spray? Shit! Oh, will we be okay? Too bad we can't replace them. There has to be something else we can do about this. Terrible light bulb? What? No! We're not gonna do anything. We'll see what happens. I think you'll be okay. Oh, something happened to Dolores. Bravely ignoring our symptoms, we tried to get at least an hour or two of sleep. No luck. We're even more tired than we were. Fuck. Let's hope our yawning will be enough to scare raiders away or save us from radiation sickness. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need, really need to find her to drink fast. If she leave if before she dies, I think. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. Okay, so water, uh, water, and water. Water, water, water. Mary Jane, I'm sorry, but people said that you eat and drink a lot. I don't know why, I don't even know if there are character traits like that. People in this, more than one person said it in the comments, so I'm gonna believe you guys. I trust in you. Contamination of our town is still strong. Okay, fair enough. Hear that? No, because no one was talking. <laughs> Not a word in hours. None at all. Can't just keep staring at the walls. Okay, we listen to the radio. Hopefully this run out of batteries or something. Mary Jane's still fine. She actually looks the healthiest out of all of them. She hasn't eaten or drinking in days. Eaten or drinking. Great English. -ing. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. Play some music, right? Mary Jane keeps fainting. Who gives a shit? Timmy's okay. Taloris is okay. And there's nothing wrong with Ted. Everybody else is fine. Yay, Mary Jane left. Oh, God. Ted, or Timmy's gone crazy. Did you go crazy because your sister left? When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a drop of water, she got furious, she stormed out. Yeah, we know. We could barely sleep at all, Ari Green, let's hope this won't happen again. Timmy was driven crazy. Hooray for Timmy, great news. Dolores is fine, Ted's stomach is rumbling. He'll be fine without food for another day. Still highly irradiated. Where did that green puddle come from? Where? There's- God, I almost knocked my light down. I touched the pole, but it kind of burnt my finger. There's no green puddle! That hurt. <laughs> That's not good at all, we need to act now. No one packed them up, what do we do? We'll put the book down on it. So, it's great for Sawkage. Hopefully. Are you guys okay? Well then! Everybody's gone nuts! Hello, friend! How are you? I'm fine. Who's talking? Who the fuck knows? Great. She's doing the thriller dance. 
Ha! Problem solved. No leak, no mess. Max for a tidy shelter. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. The Lord will not last long without water. Her sanity is questionable. Ted is hungry. Ted has gone crazy. Please don't let anyone be dead. Okay, you're all okay for another day. Hopefully your sanity comes back if I send somebody out. If we get a weak signal, tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. That's what you need the radio for. Because you need to know when the fallout's gone, and then you can send people out to the surface. Dolores has not eaten. Timmy should eat. Okay, so drink food and food. Because you're going crazy now, so I need to keep you up to date. And... Yeah, Ted's gonna go out. One thing you don't expect is a band of people dressed in green showing up at your doorstep and claiming to take the rich and give to the poor. It's exactly what happened to us. Should we let those clowns in? I forget what happened last time. Yeah, because I think they might steal all my shit otherwise. Who should go outside? Ted. Because I think you're going to go more crazy if you're in here. See you later, Ted. Godspeed, soldier. What's the first thing to do when you open a door leading to a place you don't know? Open fire. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Our bullet struck the wall, and guess what? We hit a water pipe. We were able to fill a few water bottles with a few, with all the water that trickled from the bullet holes. Nice. Timmy really isn't himself. We're very worried about him. Fuck. <laughs> Give me a little douche. Why do you do this? We decided to peek outside just for a minute to see the store. Okay, we're gonna use the gun. We have a few bullets. Imagine you just heard gunshots and everybody was dead. I need to keep that flashlight. We made contact. The military's out there and they're coming for us. All we need now to do is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice is very specific. Good, 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 great, good, perfect, brilliant, awesome. Flashlight it is. Is that good? Good. Say it with me. Good, 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 good. Yeah, is this video got annoying yet? Who knows? <laughs> All my videos are annoying. <laughs> Timmy is very hungry, and he wants some water, and Dolores wants water. Okay, I'll feed you guys. I'll feed and water you guys. You guys will be good. I want cake, me too. What happened this morning almost gave us a heart attack. Upon waking up, we saw a bizarre creature resembling an ancient Egyptian mummy, covered from head to toe in bandages. It sat very still and looked at us with its piercing eyes, peering through the cloth. This dirty, seemingly terrifying, being turned out to be our son, who, led by his madness, apparently believed himself to be some long dead pharaoh. Okay. Despite his protests, we helped him out of his costume. It seems he's holding the grudge. He moved into the corner and is currently trying to force a couple of very confused cockroaches to build him a pyramid. Unfortunately, the bandages happen to come from our med kit. Right now, they're useless, all torn and dirty. During his struggle, Timmy also managed to break all the pill bottles. Timmy, I'm gonna use that axe on your face. Why do you have to go crazy? Oh god, Dolores has the sickness. And Timmy used the med kit. You little asshole. Why did you have to do that? Timmy fell sick. Dolores has not eaten for a while. Dolores came down with a sickness. Did she get up? Did she get down with the sickness? That's the question we all need to ask. Ted's back. And Ted is still a crazy mad lunatic bastard. Great. So happy that everybody is crazy and sick. Living in the past is not wise in the current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Ted is safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Okay, what did he bring back? Soup and Radaway stuff. A deck of cards was lying about just outside the booth. After picking them up and counting them out, the only thing missing were three sixes. Playable enough. Nice. Everything is shaking. Cans are jumping all over the place. This happened after all. Okay, so this is the earthquake again. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either we... Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. Ah, oh, come on! Take the flashlight. Don't destroy my radio! No, 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 you son of a bitch! Fuck! Now what am I gonna do? Timmy can sneak like a secret agent man. Secret agent man. But that might not be enough to avoid the band of raiders camped near our shelter. We can probably assume he isn't coming back. Okay, thanks. <laughs> we decided to spray the hell out of that vent just to be on the safe side. Turned out it was a, it was the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out followed by a gust of fresh air. My vent was covered, and I didn't, they said use the flashlight or the thing, so I used that. Water's all Dolores wants, Ted is pretty fatigued. Then sleep. You don't have much time to do anything else. So Timmy, like, really isn't coming back. Oh, balls a Rooney. Timmy's dead. Oh, so sad. You guys are doing okay. Awesome. We got our map back. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. I gave some raiders, or not raiders, some survivors some water. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possible, actually, and thanking us for the gesture. What? Okay, weird. 
They were eager to re repay us, and one of the group offered a map to the local area. The claim that helped them get here. Great. Dolores needs food. Dolores is saying again, Ted is no longer crazy. Praise the Lord! You guys are gonna get sick though, because there's roaches here. Um, you said you were hungry, right? Um... Ted is too weak at the moment, so yeah, we'll get prepared for tomorrow and somebody can head out. Dolores, you head out! Head out into that wasteland, see what you can find. Crap, that means if Ted dies here, the game is over. You need to survive a few more days, Ted! Dolores is on her way to the surface, let's hope she'll make it back safe and sound. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, so I only have him to worry about now. I can do this! We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you'll end up with more roaches. So we're gonna shoot the shit out of them! Fire and rifle bullets in an enclosed shelter is not a good idea. Oh, they're gone. Yes. Some axe action was enough to send those cowards running. Bet your ass they will be back. Vermin like that are never long gone. They crawl out of the shadows when the night comes. Let's keep our axe sharp. Nice. Ted is a fucking beast. It's just like me. You don't go out with a gun when guys are coming with guns. You go out with an axe and you just take your shirt off and scream at them. And you swing an axe at them. Oh god, should we open up for somebody? Don't say the end. Okay. You have a sexy beard now. What happened? Did we get anything? We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranksters. Okay. We'll, we'll be fine, as long as it's nobody bad. Oh, Ted. That beard is so awesome. Dolores is back. She didn't bring a medkit. Fuck. She brought a radio! Dolores, I could kiss you if you weren't covered in cooties and disease. Dolores has barely the strength left. If she doesn't eat tonight, she will not last till morning. Okay. And Ted should drink. Drink. Eat. There you go. And we're going to signal on the radio. The military is transmitting again. Said the first step. Here we go. We're going to escape. We're going to survive. Dolores is dead. Well, whoop de fucking do. Lovely! Dolores' sickness progressed quickly. Coughing, fever, chest pains. She didn't recover. Well, fucking clearly, she decomposed and everything overnight. Everything was going as planned, but the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Oh god, Ted, come on. Teddy boy. No, nobody's going outside. Because the game will be over. Ah, <laughs> oh, Ted, why? Why are you going like a crazy bastard again? Our ammunition is missing, there's no way it was stolen, so it has to be here somewhere, we need to find it. Use the flashlight. Don't break the flashlight, it shouldn't break. Yes, it didn't break and we got our ammunition back. Okay, good, nice. And we found some cards. Cool, maybe that'll bring back his sanity. We couldn't get a clear signal from the radio until midday, but after we tuned in on a military broadcast, we were left speechless. Not only did they not deliver on the evacuation promise, they also ordered us to dispose of all our military, all our firearms before the military arrives. Who asks such things of an American? Who? Is that actually the military now, or is it somebody else pretending to be the military? Because I was attacked before. I'ma keep my gun. Oh god, is that a bad idea? Okay, there's a group approaching the shelter. Ted's gonna have to defend himself. You have a gun, you have bullets, use them. You're not dead. Did you kill them? Did you kill those fuckers? It's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we run out of all our ammo. Good job, Ted! Ted is a beast! Ted can survive the apocalypse. I'm afraid the army won't get back to us, but they eventually they did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but it ended a big if. The speaker requested any survivor groups armed with firearms. Okay. On the other hand, are there any laws, right? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm gonna give up my gun this time, because that's twice it's done it now. Day 53, and I used an axe to shave my beard. How manly is that? Like most men, triple blade razors. It's called fifth septuple blade razors. No. Ted uses a fucking axe. Day 60. It's never gonna end, is it? Ted, you have one tiny bit of water left. Oh, uh, the radio virus has been silent for the past few hours. We need our news, we need our music. We all agree on that. Who's we all? The voice is in your head, Ted, because you've gone crazy? We all agree on that, and if it's refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it until it works. They're gonna break it, aren't they? Either the, the madness, the lack of water, or me breaking the radio is gonna get to me. And you broke the radio. Fucking marvelous. Well, that didn't go so well, we broke the damn thing. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay. Eat the soup! He's gonna die. I'm not gonna survive. It's been like 20 days and he hasn't done anything. The end. Ted died because he got no fucking water. 
God damn it! Spent 72 days in the shelter. Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and the cruel puppet that took him away from us will have lots of fun together. Surviving the apocalypse is no easy task, we can tell you that much. Thank you, Mr. Sock Puppet! Should we leave our shelter? Well, of course, Jack! That seems like a really good idea! Are you sure? The guy watching us play this game is gonna be very mad. Who gives a shit about him? He's an asshole! Yeah, fuck you, Sock Puppet! Make it just lose the game! You perished! No, I didn't! I went insane, talked to a Sock Puppet, and left the freaking shelter. You know what? I can't beat this game! Every time I try to play it, how are you supposed to beat it if you go scavenging for the items yourself? It's a hard ass game. Well, maybe it's a bit easier in that mode if you scavenge for yourself. Maybe there's less days you have to survive. I don't know. I gave it the best try I did. I don't know if I'm going to come back to the game. I think I've kind of tapped all the potential out of it. Unless you guys, like, really, really, really want to see some more. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a boss. And high fives all around. But thank you guys, and I will see you all your dudes! Next video! Okay, I don't trust fucking anything in this game. Oh, 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 oh! Oh no, I got like a weird feeling up my back! Okay. Oh. <laughs>